day three. Okay, so we are on a company's website by the name of Dischem. They're a pharmaceutical company. They've been around for donkey's years in South Africa. And they've recently pushed quite hard to go online in, in the form of e-commerce. So their web presence is, is fairly new. They've been pushing the e-commerce baton specifically during COVID-19 to see if they can obviously make their, their shortfall up that way because of social distancing and all those wonderful things. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how they've reacted. Uh, it's quite a very well-established brand and they're doing good things out there. It's a husband and wife duo that are co-CEOs. So it's very cool to see that the, the local brands are taking the forefront, specifically in pharmaceuticals. We know from international perspectives that it's usually multinationals that tend to win this or big conglomerates from that perspective. So yeah, welcome to day three. It is a beautiful day. Let's see what we can do from the perspective of getting down to the nitty gritty of what their success has been from a online perspective. Let's quickly go over the checklist. So as usual, we have our checklist here, relevance all the way through to checkout, poor to excellent. Let's see where this game ranks on this particular uh, checklist and see if we can learn something new. Cool, let's dive straight in. Here's the homepage. Uh, what we've learned before is that we need to make sure that everything is within arm's reach. Here's the logo, we know where we are. We know where the shop is. We know what's on promotion. COVID ready, interesting, don't know what that means, but we could see featured brands, services, and articles. Cool. 177 stores, find a store. Here's my account that I could just set up, and here's my shopping cart. And if I want to join, I join using that call to action. So, so far, so good. Well done, Diskim. You guys have got quite a good thing going here. Let's look at the banner, making healthy lives. Green living, cool, that's all hunky-dory. What I think they could do a bit better is because there's so many different options, I would include some form of navigation so I could choose where I am. You can obviously click it on the buttons here. Okay, so the banner works. Drive straight through to whatever discount it is that we clicked on. Interesting. Okay, let's hop back. Let's see that the navigation works, yep. Site does load quite quickly, but I do notice these banners do hang a little bit. So they might be losing a little bit on their page speed over there. Okay. As we scroll down, we can see the menu is still intact, which is quite cool. It's good for navigation purposes. Here we can see bulk buys, COVID-19 testing, gift card, discount deals, and then you click that to get your two for one offers. So this bulk buys, I would remove because right beneath it is a bulk buys banner. I'd also remove COVID-19 testing because from earlier research, I figured out that they don't do COVID testing anymore. So there's no point of having that. So you could drop this navigation completely and then you'll be able to have a little bit of an easier to use site on your hands from that perspective. Cool. So you'll be able to click on that for shop now. Again, there's this navigation button over here. And you can toggle your way to, I think it's like 12 different boxes, which I think they lose a little bit of usability on that because this should actually be stacked with blocks like this because most of the time people don't click on that little button. It's not big enough. It's not compelling enough. So I would really move that out of the way. Uh, COVID-19 essentials, potentially I could move that to the, or I would move that to the top, maybe even underneath the COVID-19 testing, which should be removed. I'll move it somewhere here because that's the first thing people are going to look for is, is, is COVID-19 essentials from a pharmaceutical brand, in my opinion. Obviously, I could be wrong. Depends on your intention. So discount deals, again, below that. That's quite nice. It's fine to see that there, no trouble at all. Time to choose a gift. So there's some form of gifting. So that's clickable. Okay, here's a bit of an error. I would definitely not include this type of um, thumbnail for my video. It doesn't look professional, they should have checked that. Uh, same here. There's also no button that I can view this video in YouTube if that's where it's hosted. Thumbnail doesn't look good. I don't even know what these videos are for. I'm going to assume it's something to do with what's above it. So they lose a little bit of usability from that perspective. 
Okay. Let's move down. Here's another banner. This seems to be more their foundation, what they're doing for the community, their clinics, etc. And then secure payment, click and collect and free delivery at the bottom. So this is that trust. This is that process. This should definitely be at the top somewhere. So just to quickly look at how they're building trust and authority. It's not through things like this at the bottom of their page. That should be at the top somewhere. And also they should have some form of feedback from customers who have uh, bought in the past, or they should have that bottom left pop up that we spoke about in the last video that says so and so bought something recently from this area, which is a plugin that we know is available specifically with something like WordPress. Let's move all the way to the bottom, get the latest news and best offers, email address, subscribe. Cool. Uh, there's a contact us. This is interesting. It's something that I've only recently just read about from a book called Don't Make Me Think. And what companies like to do is bury the contact us forms deep in their site so that you can't ask for assistance because it costs money to call a call center, right? So I just did some research into their contact us section. And this is something that I want to start looking for in the future. I think it's quite important. There is a customer care line and there is a normal telephone line as well as these two contact forms or contact form or email rather so we can find the store it's 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 nice and easy to to navigate from that perspective this again at the bottom i don't think i'd do that um these numbers aren't clickable so from a conversion on a cell phone it might be slightly tougher you just get a little bit more frustration from that kind of thing great there's a good search box here now trending so that's a little bit of a nudge to push you in that direction of what you should be searching for in their opinion. So let's quickly go and look through. Call to actions, okay, pages and loading as well as we'd like. Bonus deals, that's quite cool. People wanna buy this kind of thing um, in bulk. Here's the add to cart call to action. You can see it buffering at the top there. It's sorted. Still site speed seems to be an issue, okay. Okay, we can choose our two options. Let's say delivery. Yeah, they're losing lots of points on speed. People start getting upset with this and I have very good bandwidth, so you can just imagine. Okay, secure checkout. It's quite a form. Okay, seven to 10 working days. That's a little bit of a process, then I'll change. I'll try to speed that up. Okay, so that's quite a long form. So from call to action, I think they could really streamline that quite a bit. Um, yeah, these call to actions, slightly convoluted. We don't exactly know what they're trying to get us to buy. So what you could add, and we, we will look at another website that does this very well, is a little bit of a time crunch around things. So you could have daily deals, and that specific website's called One Day Only, and they really put people on a time crunch to buy things. So they're adding what we call uh, urgency in, in the marketing field. So it's all about building this urgency, and there's not much urgency here, which I'll definitely look at to try and bolster and increase their, their online conversions. So from a call to action perspective, yeah, I think it could do with a little bit, maybe more uh, that urgency we spoke about, or, or more definitive, call to actions. Shop our bulk deals is the only call to action that I think is quite definitive. Here we have this little shop now, so that should be slightly bigger in, in, in terms of a button is, is maybe another option because we can't even see that those are call to actions in comparison to there. And these call to actions are gonna start distracting people. So maybe those aren't worth keeping if we've already got quite a good nav bar and we can say, underneath those specific things, what we want to achieve here, gift card, etc. Because you see the, the benefits card is over here, so you could take that out. Uh, discount deals, bulk buys, what's the difference? It seems like the same thing, so I'd probably get rid of one or two of them. So I'll just leave this at the end of the day because there's actually no need for that whole strip there. We can build our trust and authority there rather, add buttons to the shop now. I think that would be slightly better from a call to action perspective. Glad we went through that because it just shows you how we kind of fill things and, you know, full things, full websites and think, oh, you know, more the merrier. Sometimes it's not the case because you, you end up confusing 
uh, your customer. But we must also remember that we don't always land in the shop the, the way we intend, i.e. through the, the web page or the home page. So if we look here, we, la we might land like this. So at least we know that if we hover, there's, there's good call to actions. You can see it also gives us stock levels. Um, so yeah, that's quite good from that perspective. But again, there should be some form of call to action here. You know, if, if it's bulk, explain how it's bulk, explain why it's bulk. It just gives you products and you, you're going to assume it's, it's, it's bulk and most of these things you can only buy in store. Cool. Otherwise, just came, I think you've done quite a good job. Uh, let's quickly look at it from the perspective of our check sheet or checklist. We have relevance. I think the site is quite relevant, specifically around the COVID stuff. Is there good value? I think there is good value. They've got everything from COVID to nutrition to everything I might want. It might not be laid out the way I want, so it's only going to be good. Call to actions, I think, are fair. They could really do a lot of work about fixing this navigation versus call to action issue they seem to be falling into. The navigation on a whole seems quite good. If we look at the, the page structure, specifically with the menu bar, from user experience, I think it's good, but they definitely lose uh, page speed um, points there because you notice how every time we clicked on something, it just loaded and loaded. Their trust and authority by brand recognition is quite good. If it was a small unknown brand, that would probably be fair. Uh, so they do need to work on that slightly. Is it mobile friendly? Let's go back and look. Okay, let's wait for this to move. No, okay, that's that's a, a mark lost from the banner perspective, from is this mobile friendly? These seem to be mobile friendly. This makes sense, this kind of navigation. Otherwise you'll be scrolling for days. Okay, now you are scrolling for days with this, so they should have done like a read more, you know, two, and then you scroll with that kind of feel. So that is a little bit of room for improvement. Okay, that banner's also not mobile friendly. Those videos don't seem to work here. That banner isn't. Okay, let's see under support. Contact us. Okay, you can't click on those buttons to call. So that's uh, mobile friendliness lost, I think, slightly. So if we go back and look, let's just check the menu. Okay, that looks fine from a menu perspective. So mobile friendly, I say it's fair. Checkout looked good, could be excellent if they added a bit of urgency and made sure that things didn't load for two and a half days while checking out, as well as I noticed on the, the e-commerce store side of things, a lot of things you had to go in person into the shop. So maybe they should actually take that out of the feed completely and say, in store or online as, as two potential examples of way to lay that out. Besides that, I think we had quite a good session today. Uh, they're doing great things. Like always, we can improve slightly on the way we do things, but it is definitely a step in the right direction. When we start looking at the big boys, like the take a lot and the one days only, you'll see the definitive difference between those two brands in comparison to a disc cam. So let's look out for that later this week. I'll make sure that we get onto that tomorrow and Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, let's chat soon. Take it easy. Keep safe out there.